What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. Y'all know the big truck. Y'all know the man. So let's do it. Come on. Finally, finally, finally Friday. Finally Friday. Finally. Man, I figured you'd have had that thing gone by now. I would have had too. There have been a couple people looking at it, but I actually ordered three other carts because of it, though. Oh, really? One Different. snap on and two blue point. Uh, slide mm -hmm. type blue point one. And then the, the bigger blue point one that's about, that one at full price, like 980 or so. And the next one up, uh, I think it's around about 1250 or somewhere around there. But it's pretty good, a bit bigger than that one. Yeah. I know them slide tops is the way to go. Yeah. Man, I ain't no way I'd go back to a flip top roll cart now. Yeah, especially with the lift. If you work anywhere around the lift, that slide top is the only way to go because. I just don't like having to move on my, because I put all my dirty tools and stuff like that up there. Yep. I just don't like having to move all my crap to get in it, you know, and that, you just slide them open and the, keep trucking. Now, the good thing about the slide top, like I said, especially with the lift, because you got your whole box up under there, and you can with a flip top if you mm -hmm. got a. I don't mind probably wouldn't that uh, epic flip top, but a regular one probably would. Yeah. But you still don't have nowhere to set your tools at. That's right. Slide top, you can use it as a work surface at the same time. So. I like it, man. That bed liner slide top, that yeah. is perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, I seen they fixing to release the new brushless ratchets. Yeah, I ordered some of them. We we'll get them bad boys in. So I need to hurry up and come out with a new impact. Three eighths impact. That's what I'm waiting on. I don't know. We were talking about that the other night. Like I don't know why they're waiting. Why that's gonna be the last thing to. That's probably come gonna out. be the last hoorah. Yeah, to be of the last brushless one. series. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So you got it's some new sockets in you. Mm -hmm. Got a couple sets, deep, shallows. Mm -hmm. What's well, down here for? Yep. Little baby Nipex hiding back there. I got a bunch of these in. And them things right there is nice. I still and like uh, the ones with the grip better. Yeah. As far as to use, but man, putting them in and out of your pocket, them little bitty ones. We just, got a bunch of these in. Yeah, them and, right uh, there. That's are perfect yep these right there but in the door of my pickup truck and now i had to buy some more put them in my jeep too but i got these three sets mm -hmm. well no i just lied i don't have the 150s i got the the 200s i think yeah they're uh, a little bit smaller than these yeah the next size but, uh, down yeah or down. that one that one and then the next one up from them well, I know oh, them nice. right there. Like, I don't, I don't even own that pair, the one fifties. But I need to. You need them then. I need them. That's mm -hmm. right. But them right there, some fine little old pliers. If a yeah. person ain't never used a pair of Nipex Cobras, they're missing out. Like, yep. Man, I love American-made tools. But German, but German made Nipex. They got it figured out on the tools. The car is not so much. I ain't saying that they're not good, but they they pain. Well, I them. used to think, you know, like the channel locks, and they was awesome until the Nipex come around. You know, like the channel locks were some bad dudes. You know, yeah. like and I wanted them blue handles. That's all I wanted. <laughs> and then they come out with the they come out with Nipex Cobras, or well, they've had them for a long time, but we just started getting them over here. I guess right. more popular and shoot, man, them things is hard to beat. And here's the snap-on version of it, uh, of our channel lock, I right. guess. And these look identical to the channel lock style ones, mm -hmm. uh, but they're spring-loaded. That's what a lot of people look for. They got play. Well, that's because of the spring in there. I'm not big on the spring myself. I don't like it kicking out like that every time. Right. And, Hold them <laughs> up against the Nipex, and let's see what the difference in the head, like the head thickness of them. You know, that's a that's a uh, big thing. What size do you think would be more comparable to? 
probably that bigger set. Yeah, we go with the big one just to. But you can see the difference on them. Yep. The, the big uh, difference in them. Yeah. Well, and I mean, just the backside, trying to get in the tighter spots and everything. Mm -hmm. These ain't bad by no means. I mean, they're very good pliers. Uh, they will wear out and they will want to, you can see on here, and I think it's more because of the spring, they take they take some of the surface area out, and after a while, they want to go to use them and they slip on here. Yeah. Well, you know, those uh, AWP-45s, man, I love them. I kept them in my pocket forever. Yep. And then they, uh, like where the jaws right against each other, they started slipping. Yep. And man, when you handed me them right there, I ain't never looked back. I yeah, think they, I own uh, almost every pair of Nipex. Yeah, the Nipex that they make. The, the Nipex is the way to go, in my opinion. Like I said, and we sell a bunch of these. Right. Uh, but I probably sell 15 to one. Well, there's a reason why Nipex is sold on every single tool truck brand. Yeah, because they're the best ones out there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. For like sure. I, said, I keep these in the small ones. I don't have the big ones. And just the, the price difference on them and the Nipex is uh, not close either. The Nipex will be a lot more affordable than what them are going to be for somebody, especially coming off the street too, because, I mean, somebody walk on the truck with $40 cash, yeah. and they walk off with them. You're not, you're not gonna do that with them. Mm -hmm. Well, um, those uh, locking pliers that Snap-On's got, I want you to get me a pair of them. I wanna try the new I got some of the teams USA coming moves. in. Yeah, I wanna try a pair of them. I, I bought a pair off the Mack truck, and they are really nice, like super easy to release. I love them. What and brand, I wanna try the- Which brand are they? They're Mack branded, which okay. I'm sure somebody probably made them for them. But yeah. They're really nice too, but I want to try the snap-ons. That'd be a good test to see which one actually holds better. Yeah. So. And the, uh, I've sold some of the Milwaukee ones too. Yeah. The sets on them. I like the way you can put a screwdriver through the handle and tighten them down even more. Yep. I think that's actually more handy than the Allen head that's on the snap-ons because then you gotta go look for a Allen, Allen head or, key or Well, they say key on the, like the snap-on ones is like the old vice grip brand because it got their patent and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and you're supposed to put pliers on the end of them, but then you still got to, I mean, find your pliers and everything. And you could use, these probably go through, even the handle on these probably go through most of the Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee ones, the yeah. holes on there, because they can put a big old hole on the end of them. They're pretty cool how they're yeah. made too. But yeah, I, I ordered a couple of pairs of the 10s, um, a couple more. I didn't order none of the 7s yet. And I thought they was gonna be in this week. I got some bits in, but. Cool. Cool, cool. And of course, you already seen these before. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, those are nice. Those little pocket pry bars. Yeah. Yeah. Tell somebody I'm gonna put them to use this weekend. I'm gonna try to break one of them. Just see. I'm sure that they're <laughs> they're pretty see what tough. They like they'll bend. I mean, I know putting them in my hand is like, mm -hmm. and I mean they ain't bent one of them yet doing that. They're I've been tough. doing the same one all week, but I'm gonna break one of them just to see what they do. <laughs> to see how much you can take. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's bad when you intentionally break them just to just to know them. what they. Well, that's yeah. how you know know what they do. You know? Yeah. So, well, I guess we're gonna cut it short today. I'm running bad behind on a Friday. I'm ready to get out of here today. Like, <laughs> if I could leave right now, I'd be G O N E gone. That's what <laughs> yesterday. I was running way ahead yesterday. I mean, seeing all my Thursday customers, actually seeing two Friday customers, still got home at two thirty. And uh, of course, my wife. The end of the month there's the stressful time for her, so she, I went and started drinking because I wasn't gonna be put up with all that. You know? <laughs> she called me about six, six thirty. One of well, on a hot drop yesterday. It was holy cow. Yeah, I was not wet bad all the way down today. to my drawers yesterday. Yeah, it's gonna be Saturday's gonna be warm too. Yeah, it's supposed to be like eighty seven or something. Yeah, that's rough. And that's normally that's not hot for Mississippi, but when it's been 60s every night or 40s at night time, yeah. then 87 is. I've on. had my AC set on 67, man. I've slept like a baby for it. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually afford to keep it low right now. Yeah. But man, in two more months, whew, <laughs> be rough. setting it off during the day and. It's about $400 a month power bill. Yeah. 
my house stays pretty cool when we built our die insulated the crap out of it and use that tech shield osb board yeah at that time it was like 12 dollars a sheet mm -hmm. and that regular osb was like 750 or eight dollars a sheet yeah now the tech shield is like 77 dollars a sheet so yeah you can about but, uh, put it copper in there cheaper yeah. now than you can yeah no doubt <laughs> <laughs> give me a three quarter yeah. inch sheet of four by <laughs> copper well it's it's ten dollars cheaper than plywood right now <laughs> yeah. and uh but yeah then uh, so it stays a lot cooler but upstairs my son stays up upstairs of course heat goes up so it's a lot hotter up there and he's been running the air conditioner up there already yeah. But uh, talking about plywood, I seen a, a meme on Facebook the other day, or, and uh, somebody's like, well, told them my car out today, a piece of plywood come flying I off a trailer it. and hit it. They said, but I'm not collecting insurance, I'm just going to sell a piece, sell of, plywood a piece of plywood and buy me another buy car. A car. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that one too. That's, well, that's about right. That's <laughs> it. That's those high right now. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to turn this thing off like always. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, take a finger, click that button. That's all it takes. One press of the button. Boom! You're in. It's easy. You guys have a great week. Catch you later. See ya.